Hello. On this video, we will talk about the different installation options for OpenManage Server Administrator. We have previously seen how to install OpenManage on Windows, ESX, and Linux environments. On this tutorial, we'll go over the specifics of a custom installation option, which applies to all environments. We will first discuss the ESXi installation. If you notice, the file size on our website for the ESXi BIP file is only 6.3 megabytes. When we install this file on ESXi, it doesn't give us any information as to what options may be available for the installation. This is because the ESXi bundle only has a limited set of features. For any Unix or Linux system, normally when we type the dash dash h or dash help trigger, we can get additional information about the package and what options are available for installation purposes. However, when we do this on an ESXi operating system, there is really no information about the OMSA package, but this is more information about the actual installation command. Now, if we wanted to upgrade from the current version, which is OMSA 9.3 to OMSA 9.4, we can just run the installation command for the new package. If an upgrade was essentially needed, it will go ahead and update the current OMSA installation to whatever version we're installing. In this case, you can see that it upgraded to 9.4 and the packages that were removed are the 9.3.1 installation files. In some cases, it is important to uninstall the previous version of OpenManage first, such is the case for major releases, such as going from OMSA 8.5 to OMSA 9.1, or if you're jumping more than three versions at a time, such as going from OMSA 9.0 to 9.4. In ESX, this is normally an automated process. However, if something were to happen, you could manually run the uninstall command for the BIP package and then once the previous OMSA installation has been removed, install the new file. If a restart is needed for installation, you will notice that there is a line that says reboot required. In this case, it is set to false, which means that we do not have to reboot for this process. However, if that fly was set to true, a restart is required to continue the installation process. When comparing the Windows Open Manage Server Administrator download, we can see that it's close to 300 megabytes versus the ESXi version that is less than 10 megabytes. The reason for this is that Windows gives us a lot more options than ESX does. In addition, ESX requires interaction for the Windows Open Manage installation in order to be able to see the server information. As was the case with Open Manage Server Administrator in ESX, it is recommended that if you're going from one major release to another, that you first uninstall Open Manage. Such is also the case if you're jumping more than three revisions. In this case, we're going to go from OMSA 9.3 to 9.4. For this video, we will do a custom installation of OpenManage Server Administrator so we can see what the additional options are. When selecting the custom installation, we can see additional options for installing OpenManage Server Administrator on this server. We can see things like the storage management aspect, which will give us information about the RAID controllers and the non-RAID controllers, the server instrumentation, the command line interface for running commands such as OM config and OM report, server instrumentation for Windows management instrumentation services, SNMP, operating system login, and of course the SNMP agents. You can also do a remote enablement for Open Manage Server Administrator if you wish to access it from a different system. You can install as many features as you need on the environment, or you can disable things that you don't need. Once you make your selection, you can click on Next. On the Next screen, you'll be able to specify the alert type that you would like for the alert messages generated for OpenManage Server Administrator. 
you can choose a traditional message format or you can select the enhanced message format, which will give you much more information, such as severity informational, category, outed, message ID, and message text with substitution. Once you make those adjustments and choose your preference, you can click on install, which will proceed with the rest of the installation. As we saw in the previous two sections, installing Open Manage Server Administrator in Windows is very different than installing OMSA on ESXi. For this example, we will go over installing Open Manage Server Administrator on a Linux system. In this example, I will use a dash H trigger to present the help menu. In ESXi, when we run the same command, the options presented were mainly for the installation package. However, we were not giving any options for customizing Open Managed Server Administrator. In the case of Linux, the options provided through the Open Managed Installation Help menu are much more flexible in comparison to the Windows counterpart and the ESXi installation. You can read the description for each agent and provider through the Help menu. For this installation example, I will install OMSA using the DSWRA trigger. If you notice from the descriptions, D is for the Dell agent, S is for storage, W is for the web component, R is for the drag, and the A is to auto start once the installation completes. You can customize these options depending on what you need on this environment. If you're expecting to do command line only, it is not necessary to install the web component. Once we choose our selection, simply press enter on the installation command. Open Manage then will install the necessary components for functionality within the operating system. As you can see, the installation has completed and auto start is being enabled. In Linux, we can follow the same recommendation as Windows and ESX. If you're jumping from one block to another major release, such as OMSA 8.5 to OMSA 9.1, it is recommended that you first uninstall Open Manage Server Administrator. Such is also the case if you're jumping more than three revisions, such as OMSA 9.0 to OMSA 9.4. Thank you for watching this video.